What's up guys, Joseph Rackets here from josephracketsfitness.com and today in this video I'm going to show you four simple fixes for a massive chest. Number one, when performing a bench press, whether it be barbell or dumbbell, you want to make sure that you use correct form. Now the technique that I like to use to allow for correct form to place more stress on the pecs and less stress on the deltoids is a technique that I like to use by dropping the traps down, pinching the shoulder blades back together, and then excessively puffing up the chest. This is the position I keep my body throughout the whole entire movement. And what this does, this will eliminate some activation from the shoulders and place more stress on the pectoral muscles, therefore resulting in more muscle activation, therefore leading to more muscle growth. All right, tip number two, and that is to use a partial range of motion. Now the reason I say use a partial range of motion instead of a full range of motion when you're doing your pressing exercises is to keep the stress and attention on the muscle because the more stress and the more tension we can apply to the muscle the more muscle fibers we're going to rip therefore the more muscle growth we're going to get so when we use a full range of motion and we completely lock out we just take that stress and tension off the pecs however if we use a partial range of motion and only press the weight up three quarters of the way the pectoral muscles are under stress the whole entire time all right tip number three and that is to focus on incline work now the reason I say focus on incline work is because the chest is made up of two main muscle heads. That is the upper pecs and the lower pecs. And any chest exercise that you perform, the lower pecs are usually the head of the pectoral muscle that takes over majority of the lift. And this results in the upper chest lacking size, therefore your chest doesn't look full and complete. So always prioritize your upper chest work by doing incline work at the start of your routine. This way it'll help rip the muscle fibers in your upper chest, therefore leading to more growth in that lacking area that is often hard to build. All right, tip number four guys, and that is to focus on negative reps. Now not many people do this in the gym and all they're doing is just hindering the gains that they could potentially get. So most people when they're in the gym, they just get on the bench press or dumbbell press and they push the weight up and then they drop the weight back down. They push the weight up and then drop that weight back down. However, they're missing half of the lift. And believe it or not, there is actually more muscle fibers ripped on the negative rep. That is when you control the weight in a slow form, bringing it down before pushing it back up again. So next time you're training chest, make sure you focus on the negative rep, control the weight coming down. I often do a four second negative, and this results in more muscle fibers ripped, leading to more muscle growth and overall chest gains. And there you go guys, that was my four simple fixes for a massive chest. Hope you learned something. Make sure you apply all those tips and techniques next time you train chest. And don't forget, I'm an online personal trainer. So if you need help building muscle or losing body fat and getting extremely lean, I can help you and I'd love to help you. Just click the link in the description box down below. Anyway, check out the rest of my YouTube channel for more great content. Shady is a day.